What's going on guys, Dealing with Dalton here and welcome to episode one of the series that I'm calling From the Closet to Profit. In this series, we're taking two pairs of shoes out of my personal closet. We're cleaning them, listing them, and selling them online. And starting with just those two shoes, we're gonna see how far we can build up a reselling business starting from absolute scratch. As those of you who already follow me know, I am a full-time shoe reseller. I sell mainly on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and a little bit of Facebook Marketplace. Um, but I'm taking everything that I use, every single tool that's at my disposal, and I'm basically throwing it out the door for this series. All that I'm starting with is some soap, some water, and the shoes in my closet. I'm not gonna be using any of my current supplies. No shoe trees, no photo setup, no nice lights, no storage unit. We're starting everything in my apartment with no money invested. We're not investing into cleaning products. We're not investing into photo setup until we have sold enough pairs of shoes to justify that investment. My intent with this series is to show you that you can do it too and just how easy it is to start a reselling business from absolute scratch. And maybe you don't have two pairs of shoes in your closet that you can afford to get rid of, but I guarantee you that you have something sitting around in your house that you don't use or you don't need that you can sell online. So whatever it is, whether you wanna get into reselling general items or you wanna get into reselling shoes specifically, this series I think will be able to help you tremendously and create a blueprint for you to follow as you are navigating this reselling journey. And one thing that I plan on doing throughout the extent of the series is every single video we are going to have a question of the day and not every video, but every single time that I am investing into cleaning products, I'm investing into lights, I'm investing into a photo setup, I'm gonna buy two of them. One's for me, one for the series, and another one I'm going to give away to one random commenter down in the comments below. Some weeks we'll give away random reseller inventory bundles, so make sure at the end of each video you're sticking around for that question and leaving an answer and dropping it down in the comments below. And in random videos throughout the series, I will be giving away inventory and supplies to random commenters down in the comment section. So to show you what we are starting out with, I picked these two shoes out of my personal closet, got these Jordan 1 mids. Um, these are, I know they're Jordan 1s, but these are not a higher selling model. They're not a more sought after model. First off, they're mids. Not a lot of people are into the look of mids. Um, so this is just a generic white. I think I paid $50 for these on Poshmark, so that's probably what we're gonna be able to sell them for, um, as well as these Nike Epic Flyknit Reacts. Um, I picked these up at the outlet uh, a little over a year ago for $60. Again, these don't have a super high retail value, not great resale value. I didn't wanna come in with a pair of old Yeezys or something that uh, you guys probably don't have access to in your closet. So I just picked two pairs of shoes that are kind of mid-range that also I think might sell a little faster because I don't want this series to be too drawn out. I've, I know these first couple weeks are gonna be kind of slow. We're only starting out with two shoes, so I gotta wait for these shoes to sell, and then I've gotta go reinvest that money as fast as possible and try to get the, the ball rolling. Because with the reselling gig, it's really a snowball effect. The more that you're listing, the more that you're selling, the faster and bigger that snowball will grow. So at the very beginning, if we're only starting out with two pairs of shoes, it's not like I have shoes to list every single day. So we really need to get these sold as fast as possible, and I think that these two shoes would be a good choice for that. With that being said, a huge part of shoe reselling, especially the used shoes that I specialize in, um, is cleaning. And luckily, I'm not too hard on my shoes, so these shoes don't need much cleaning. Um, but like I said before, we're not starting out with any cleaning products, anything special. So every all the cleaning that we're going to be doing in the beginning of the series is going to be with soap and water in my bathroom sink uh, until we can invest into some actual shoe cleaning products. Now, I mentioned before that I'm starting with absolutely nothing, and that includes my selling platforms as well. I am already well established on eBay, on Poshmark, and Mercari, as well as Facebook Marketplace. For this series, I'm taking Facebook Marketplace out of the equation because I can't just make a new Facebook account. So we're only starting out with eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I'm creating brand new accounts for all three of them, and so that way there's no excuse as to, you know, I already have a, an established uh, customer base or whatever. I don't want any of that coming at me. We're starting out just where you would be starting out if you are joining the process today. So with that being said, we're gonna jump into cleaning these shoes. Again, they don't need much cleaning. I'm just gonna give them a quick scrub down with some Dawn dish soap as well as some water. And then after that, I'm just gonna toss them into the washing machine with regular laundry detergent. And whatever they come out like, that's how we're selling them. All right, now that we got the shoes cleaned up and ran through the washing machine, all that we need to let them do now is dry before I can take pictures and photograph them. Um, the way I plan on doing that is, since I don't have a photo set up, I'm gonna be taking the pictures outside on my patio with the sunlight as being my main source of light. 
Um, so I'm gonna give these shoes overnight to dry and then we'll take pictures of them, we'll get them listed. I'm not gonna go over how to create eBay, Poshmark, Mercari accounts. I'm sure there's plenty of videos here on YouTube to explain to you how to do that. So if you are following along, make sure to go ahead and create those accounts and get whatever it is that you're selling in your closet listed and ready to go. All right, so I've had a chance to let the shoes sit out overnight and dry. Now all that's left is to photograph them so we can go ahead and get them listed. Uh, again, I'm doing this on my patio with only lighting coming from the sunlight as well as the uh, ceiling light out here. And I wanted to do it against this wall uh, just to show you guys that you really don't need to invest into a, um, a backdrop or even, even the white cardboard. You don't even need to do that. If you have a nice well-lit area where it's just the floor and a wall, um, you can take photos just like that right there. And then as for the shoes, a couple things I wanted to mention. Um, with these, I tucked the, made sure to tuck the laces into the shoe so they're not on top, the, like the laces aren't laying on top of the shoe in the photographs. Um, with these, since it was a little more difficult just by the way that the shoe was designed, just tie the strings into a knot and then we're gonna stick them inside here. And again, since we're not using shoe trees, since we don't have any yet, I literally just took a couple pairs of socks and we're gonna stuff them in here. Uh, the reason that we do that is we want the shoes to have the appearance of being on someone's foot um, so people can get an idea of what the shoes actually look like when they're being worn. So now that we got the shoes laces tucked in and filled with the sock and they're ready to photograph, we're gonna go ahead and sit them right here and I'll show you guys the angles that I use when I photograph shoes. So a few tips for photographing your shoes. You wanna make sure that you are getting every single angle well lit and photographed in your listing so your buyer knows exactly what it is they are buying. If there's any minor flaws in the shoes, like some tears around the collar, maybe there's some excessive tread on the bottom, make sure to get a close up pic of that. List that picture in the listing and add that in the description as well. We wanna make sure that there's no confusion on the buyer's end when they are picking up the shoes that you are selling. All right guys, so now that we got the shoes cleaned, photographed, all that's left to do is to list them on the platforms that we have decided to sell them on. Again, I'm gonna be listing these on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. As for pricing, um, I'm gonna list both of these shoes at $49 shipped. So that's on eBay and Mercari, $49 free shipping. And on Poshmark, I'm gonna list them for $39 because on Poshmark, the buyer pays shipping. Also, I wanna mention on Poshmark, they do take 20%. So some people do list higher, even though um, Poshmark charges shipping to the buyer on all purchases um, to counteract that 20% fee. Um, I choose not to. I don't like to take out the, per the fees that I'm paying on the buyer. So if I can get the... If I can get a buyer a better price, um, I just feel better about myself when doing that. So, But when you're listing, that's completely up to you. Um, if you decide that you wanna list higher on Poshmark to counteract those uh, extra fees, by all means, go for it. I'm really hoping that these shoes sell fast. I'm gonna be very accepting of offers because when you're getting started, it's really important to get cash flow and get money coming in as fast as possible. Um, so if I get any decent offers on these, uh, shoes, I'm definitely gonna accept them, get them shipped out as quick as possible. Um, another thing when it comes to shipping, um, if you're following along, all that you're gonna need to do is go to store.usps.com. Uh, they offer free shipping supplies. They have um, USPS shoe boxes. So of course, I already have a bunch of those. I don't need to order those. Um, I'm not including that in the um, starting from zero because the shoe boxes are free. So I'm not gonna go ahead and place another order and wait several days for those to come in. Um, I'm gonna use the shoe boxes that I already have. Um, but that's one thing that you do need to pick up as well as tape. Um, I, I failed to mention that in the beginning. Only thing other than the, uh, the soap and water that you're gonna need to follow along with this series is some tape to package up your boxes. Uh, the first few orders, I'm not even gonna throw any bubble wrap or packing paper on them uh, like I normally do, uh, just to keep everything starting from scratch. So again, I hope these shoes sell fast. The, uh, the fly knits are in good condition. Uh, people really are, uh, fans of the Flyknit material, even though that's not as popular of a, of a Flyknit brand, kind of a cheaper model. Um, I still think that since it's got the cool colorways, I might be able to move it pretty fast. As for the Jordans, um, I, I don't really know what to expect with those. They're not in great condition. Um, if you could see in the pictures, there's some, there's a lot of scuffing on them. The, uh, the midsole starting to yellow, um, plus their mids, nobody, especially in men's sizing, the mids tend to don't tend to not really do very well. Um, and then they got a lot of wear on the bottom. So Again, very gonna be very accepting of offers just to kind of try to get those moving so we can get cash rolling in. I'm hoping episode two of this series comes out next Monday. It really, again, depends on how fast I can get those shoes sold. Um, but once they sell, I am going to take that money 
reinvest it into new inventory and hopefully get this get the ball rolling with this um so i'm not sure how exciting or um if these first few videos are going to be boring at all um, if you get anything out of this episode i want it to be that you can literally start with what you have right now you don't need a fancy backdrop you can take pictures on your patio in the sunlight or if you have a well-lit room next to a window just take the pictures on the floor it, it the backdrop does not matter as much as you think it does you don't even need shoe trees just stuff the shoes with some socks you don't even need any special cleaning supplies. Just get some dish soap from the Dollar Tree and that'll work just fine. Um, again, since we don't have any great cleaning supplies right now, the, f the initial sourcing is going to be more towards shoes that don't need a lot of work. Um, so that might be a little roadblock, but I'll, I'll be reinvesting into cleaning supplies as soon as possible. Um, again, as for the giveaway, whenever we buy these cleaning supplies, I'll be giving away exactly what I'm buying to a viewer in the form of picking a random comment. So at the end of every video, I'm gonna ask a question of the day. There's no giveaway today, but today's question of the video is how far along are you in your reselling process? Or do you even resell? Do you just watch these videos for um, entertainment sake? Are you part-time, full-time? I wanna know what stage of your reselling career are you in? right now so leave the answer to that down in the comment section below um stick around for episode two i'm super excited to get the ball rolling on these this series i've seen several other resellers do series like this in the past some have completed the series some have fallen off i'm really drawing inspiration from retro rick's series called the ten dollar game challenge where he took a ten dollar bill and over the course of the past i want to say year and a half putting out an episode every week he has built a massive game collection so i'm hoping that we can take these two shoes and a year from now we are going to have a nice reselling business that we are paying ourselves weekly and hopefully we'll get the ball rolling on that really quick so if this is a series that you want to uh, keep up with make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video and that's going to wrap up today's episode so i'll see you guys in the next video